This introductory video illustrates the features and benefits of the Abra Surgical Skin Closure System and provides brief instructions for application and nursing care. For complete instructions, please see the instructions for use provided with the set or go to www.canica.com. Abra Surgical Skin Closure engages full thickness skin and closes high tension retracted skin defects leaving nothing behind except a sound primary repair. Over time, this dynamic wound closure system pulls the skin margins together under tolerable tension while normalizing compartment pressures. This Abra system eliminates the need to skin graft by reapproximating the skin margins resulting in a primary closure. The system restores normal skin integrity, promotes patient mobility, and reduces hospital and home care expenses. In a published study conducted by the U.S. Army in Iraq, 91% of fasciotomy wounds were closed primarily in an average of 2.6 days using Abra surgical skin closure to close full thickness skin rather than skin grafting. The two system components work in unison. The skin anchors distribute load over an area of healthy skin beyond the wound site, and the elastomers provide gentle, unrelenting tension that yields under strain. The skin anchor is made of surgical grade stainless steel and has two flukes which engage the dermal layer and provide wound margin control by keeping the wound edges aligned and everted as they reapproximate the skin. The wire cleat has an eye that allows the elastomer to be captured at any point and released for wound management or to adjust tension. The set also includes installation aids, a ruler and skin marker for establishing the proper layout, a lancet for creating skin holes, and a loop cannulator to install the elastomers through the skin. Granulated wound margins should be freed to ensure wound edge mobility prior to the installation of the skin anchors. The wound margins should be undermined by up to 2 cm if necessary. Using the skin marker, make marks at 1 cm intervals set back 1 to 1 1.5 cm. Using the lancet, create small stab incisions at each mark while tensioning the skin with a serrated forcep. Proper stab depth is achieved when the lancet is inserted up to the shoulder of the blade. When required, bend the body of the skin anchors to match the curvature of the skin surface. While tensioning the skin edge, insert the skin anchors into the holes. Staple or suture each skin anchor to secure them to the skin. It is important that the staple position lies over the center of the rear land to allow the skin to stretch while the wound margins reapproximate. Using the center hole of the skin anchor as a landmark, make a stab incision with the lancet. Use the loop cannulator as a blunt dissector and to retrieve the end of the elastomer. Pull the elastomer through the skin a minimum of 5 cm. Feed the elastomer end through the eye of the wire cleat and draw to the desired tension. Holding the wire cleat down with one finger, pull the elastomer up to lock. The elastomer can be released and reset repeatedly. The black bars on the elastomer provide a visual indication of elastomer load. Recommended tension range is between one and a half and two times the untensioned bar length. The maximum recommended tension is two times the untensioned bar length. Tension the wound from the center working outward. The goal is to make the wound margins parallel along the entire wound length. This is accomplished by using the highest tension in the middle and lower tensions near the ends. Once tension has been set, make sure that the untensioned elastomer end is at least 5 cm in length. Change dressings according to established protocols. Dressings may be placed above or below the elastomers as appropriate, but should not cover the anchors. Do not use small dressings that could get left behind under rapidly closing wound edges.
do not combine with negative pressure wound therapy, since negative pressure wound therapy will lock down margins, promoting granulation and impeding closure progress. With proper maintenance, wound margin reapproximation is achievable in an average of three days. Since tension will decrease as the wound edges close, the recommended tension level should be reset daily or at each dressing change. Therapeutic benefit is derived from the cumulative reduction force applied by all elastomers. Wound movement of several centimeters following tissue edema or body movement is normal with a dynamically closing wound and an indication of correct overall tension. Movement will reduce as the wound approaches closure. When appropriate, patient mobilization will accelerate wound closure. Abra because nothing beats a primary closure.